Hello everybody, Kevin here, Raptor94, and welcome back to the channel, and today we're going to be checking out Tiny Tina's Wonderland. Now, truth be told, I uh, uh, never played any of the Borderlands games fully, although I did play them, uh, but I never really beat them to the end. I played a little bit of one, I uh, played a little bit of two, never played three or the pre-coil. And uh, now we're going to be checking out uh, one, uh, Teeny, uh, Teeny Tiny's Wonderlands because this is a, considered a spin-off in a way. Although this one, as you can see, is definitely taken of a much more medieval fantasy setting. Although you do still use guns and you know, rocket launchers, you know, but it's just the, the art design, the aesthetics is definitely leaning towards more medieval fantasy, which you know I do quite like. Uh, I'm a little bit, I'm a bit interested in how this game's going to fare out because, like I said, I've never beaten any of the Borderlands game and uh, never played them to the end. But I'm going to assume, from what I've seen from the clips, it plays very similar to Borderlands. So I'm going to feel right home as we got a skeleton there, just, just snatch a, <laughs> a dragon, just snatch a skelly boy out, out of the screen. But I have a feeling this game is going to be great. Uh, I think we're gonna have uh, a lot of good times because, you, as you as you know, Borderland is pretty popular. A lot of iconic characters, especially with you know Tiny Tina, especially making a bigger spotlight too. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I don't know too much about this game, and uh, we'll see what happens. We might do a full playthrough. We might do a mini a mini series. So I might make like maybe ten videos tops, and then we'll stop it there. But you know, depending if people want me to do a full playthrough, I'll, I will do a full playthrough. But uh, but yeah, more likely this is going to be turned into a mini series because, like I said, there's a lot of different games that will be coming out over this year that I definitely want to check out. So I probably won't have enough time, you know, to play this game fully. Well, maybe I will play this in my spare time, but as a full playthrough, probably not going to happen. So uh, all right, we're going to see how this goes. We'll see how this game is, and uh, I think you can make your own character. Uh, I think you can still choose class like the old Borderlands game. I'm not sure, but other than that, without further ado, let's get this started, shall we? And we're going to ready to choose our differently. So we got relax, balance, uh, intense. We do less damage. They do more damage. Uh, I'm not sure I would like that. We're going to play on the balance. And then we got co-op mode as well. So that's pretty cool. We can. So everyone in the game finds their own loot, guarantee a reward for every encounter, or you can have a, sh a split earn loot system, and it must either learn to share or be quicker than their fellow players. Hmm. Yeah, everybody finds their own loot. And this one splits earn loot. So this one is more like, you know, my own shit, and this one everybody kind of gets their own stuff. I'm going to choose this one. There is a world beyond the Borderlands. A world forged by wonder and ruled by fate. The battle between these powers has raged since the beginning. Evil and good. Villains and heroes. A vicious cycle endlessly repeated. Wonder is the power of a cruel, unpredictable god. But fate... There's one alone who can wield fate. One alone whose story is in their own hands. The Fate Maker. That's you. Heavy, right? Fate Maker. Big responsibility. Honestly, I wouldn't even blame you if you just laid down in a puddle and gave up. <clears throat> but if not, if you try and prove yourself as Fate Maker, then heed the warning I give all heroes. Together you fight. Together you shall fall. Uh, ha! Incredible hit! The undead fall beneath our blade! Ah! Oh yeah! Same! It's going real good over here, blade-wise. We're coming for you, Dragon Lord. <laughs> Your party of heroes can't stop me. Already I... Wow, you guys got here fast. Like you said, we're the heroes. I am Valentine, gallant adventurer. The scary stabby one is Fred. What about that one? That's the newbie. It's their first 
adventure. Oh, come on. Their figure isn't even fully painted. Enough talk. We're here to stop you from taking the soul energy. Fools! I've already absorbed all of the soul energy. I'm invincible! Ow. Sorry, newbie. We missed the soul energy. Castles will burn! Babies will cry! More than usual! My skeleton armies will wash over the lands! <laughs> Looking bad! How do we win this? We attack! Together! Pathetic. Especially you, newbie. They don't make heroes like they used to. Time to die! But then, just as the heroes lose hope, they hear... A neigh? A neigh? Yeah, and also like, you know, like a sparkly rainbow, which goes like, crinkle, cr -caw, cr -caw! It is Queen Buttstack. The most beautiful and perfectest ruler in all the land. Hold on, what game are we playing here? We're, We're playing, playing Bunkers and Badasses, baby! And I, Tiny Tina, am the Bunker Master. So what I say goes! And I say there's a magical diamond vine accord named Butt Stallion who saves the day! Oh, I was kind of hoping we would save the day. You will, Valley Girl. I just gotta set the stakes. Now, let's table talk. Kill Dragon Lord! But Stallion, you may be the most beautifulest, perfectest ruler in all the land, but this time, I've won. But, but Stallion was wielding the coolest sword in the whole world, the Sword of Soul. Oh, would you? I just made those skeletons. No! No! I curse you, Valentine! I curse you, Fret! And most of all, I curse you, newbie! Whatever your name is, I will return and finally rid this world of heroes! And with that, the Dragon Lord was defeated. For now. Explosion complete! Who's ready to rickety role play? Yeah, might as well. We're stranded here after that mountain totally jumped out at our ship. <laughs> yeah, he crashed it. I'm in. I love bunkers and badasses. I've already got a level 40 character. Now, 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 we are making all new characters. This is the newbie's first game, and I'm gonna make sure it's an adventure they'll never forget. You ready, newbie? Time for character sheets, baby! <laughs> very, very interesting start. So definitely very D&D inspired, which is pretty cool. They're pretty much doing a tabletop game, but you're also in a game in a way. Uh, I'm not sure this game takes place after Borderlands 3. Like I said, I haven't played Borderlands 3, so I don't know. Like I said, this game's more of a spin-off, so I don't know. Uh, but uh, that, uh, let's get this started, and we're going to choose our class. So this is our character, and yeah, he pretty much looks the same as in the custom. That's why they call him Newbie. All right, uh, let's choose what kind of class we got here. Ugh. Excuse me, burping hot dogs. So we got the Stable Master, Sneaky Murderer with focus on critical hits, so I'm gonna assume they're kinda of like a rogue type class. They probably use staggers and like stealth. Clawbringer looks like more of a heavy. With focus on fire and lightning damage, Clawbringer. Got a little companion drawing that attacks enemies with claws and fire breath. I do like that. And then of course we got the Hammer of Truth. Spell Shot. Uh, magic user would focus on constantly casting spell. I'm not really the mage type of guy, so we'll probably won't do that. 
Uh, this one, uh, dog magic, so tap it, it focus on dealing damage in exchange for health. Might be pretty cool. Uh, and then we got Spore Warden. We got a Fungal Frame, it focuses on range, so this is more on range. Hmm, I, like I said, to be honest, I don't know what class is the best. Uh, this one definitely seems like my type of style, this is more like a warrior. Anger Smasher with focus on fast damage. Uh, got Rage of the Inches, become Rage as bonus to fast attacks to the damage. And then now we're back to Sable Master. Huh. I don't know to be honest. Like, I think the classes is like an, an extra thing you can have. It's like, you know, when you choose like the characters in the, the first three games. Uh, but you can still use guns, you can still use, you know, all those other stuff, so this is like an extra layer of skill that you can have. Uh, I'm almost a bit on the Preserker. The Spore, the Spore, uh, the Spore Warden sounds pretty good too, more on range damage. Soul Tapper could be very useful because we can get life. And, uh, like I said, we can get live at you know as we keep casting this down magic. Uh like I said, not mage, so we're definitely not gonna play as a spell shot. Uh I'm gonna go Berserker. Your standard warrior type. And look at this, we could actually change our characters, so that's pretty cool. Disengage, slot overdrive, uh we got some preset <laughs> newbie. So it looked look like it was like some elf looking guy as the default. Uh, but yeah, this might, <laughs> this might take a little while. So we'll be right back as we uh, make our character, I guess. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> my God, man, that is, whew. As one, one weird looking guy. <laughs> okay, I think that's I think that's the best we're gonna get. Uh, we're gonna start making our character. So we created our character. Looks like we can actually choose our character background, which will actually uh, makes a difference between our stat wise here. <laughs> we could be a failed monk. Uh, recovery inventory. World alchemist. Huh. So we gotta keep in mind some of the stats here. We could be a freaking absolute dumbass here, which will make our magic a lot less effective. Failed monk. Uh, I would, that's more of a magic build. Oops, I did not mean to do that. Uh, failed monk definitely more on magic build. Uh, probably not gonna go on that. Uh, Dexterity is gonna be a little bit poopy, and our health is a little bit lowered, but our intelligent and ultimate is good. And this one is a Royal Alchemist, definitely more on Wisdom and uh, Ultimate. <sighs> Honestly, I think Village Idiot and Recovering Inventory Hoarder are probably like the only, two only good things. Maybe Ways by Elf is good as well. We do lose a little bit of Constitution though. Uh, max Health and Ward, we do get better Critical Chance. Better uh, skill uh, uh, skill cooldown. Uh, you know what? we're gonna do ways by else because I think this one statistic wise is probably the best. Although we're all gonna start with a little bit less health, but we could put more points than either way. So this one's best for Berserker. Uh, Constitution is also good for Berserker. And as well as ultimate. Okay, we got ten points to put in. So let's put let's put this points to good use. Put that to ten. Put this to fourteen. Ooh, we can enter our name, newbie. Uh, Sir Craven, as a as a pretty much another version of me. So let's name him Sir Craven. And there's our sats. Looking pretty good. I think we're looking good. So let's start this up, shall we? Over the character sheet? 
It said draw your hero, and I'm my own hero. Okay. And Fret, it says your starter sword does murder a thousand damage? My bad, I left off a zero. Okay, no plan! Fred and Valentine can't be trusted with pencils, let alone dice. So it is up to you, newbie. You are the fate maker. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And these fools shall be thine advisors, I guess. Fine. I advise that you better be a badass. We're here to slay evil and get gold. I know you see me as a role model. Follow my lead and you'll be a great fate maker. All right, one last thing. Bunkers and Badasses is a role-playing game, baby. That means you do not break character voice. Kapiski? Break me off a piece of that. I am destined for greatness and glory. This quest is merely the start of my legend. <laughs> my character's voice. <laughs> my character's voice. Prepare to enter a world Oh my god. Sound like a high pistolarian. Uh, I don't see anything. You gotta imagine it, knucklehead. Just close your eyes and wonder. There we go, guys. You have arrived in the snoring valley. And it is time. Oh. You journeyed far to be here. Even okay. the queen herself. <gasps> the queen herself. Definitely feels like Borderlands. Maybe Borderlands, she alright. The dragon lord will soon reawaken. Game kind of runs like Let's a bit choppy. His resurrection. What I'm hearing is we get to whoop his ass. Uh, here's a little cheat sheet to track your health and map and stuff up. Okay, yep, Wavy Borderlands. This is our map. Like I said, I haven't really played Borderlands, oh, excuse me, in a very long time, so this is going to be kind of new to me. Although I know the basics. So this is where we're going to go. Very linear, looks like. Yep, extremely linear, but I think the game will definitely go open world once we get out of here. So pretty much just got to follow the map. Got a journal here. Quest logs, yeah, you, you can do missions, I remember, in Borderlands. We, we get weapons as we complete missions. And we're pretty bare bones right now. And I do remember you do gotta, I think, buy, like, packs, or you gotta make a certain progress to unlock, you know, new weapon slots and gear slots. And it is gonna definitely matter, uh, when, especially when you get to end game. So you definitely wanna have a lot of options to switch different weapons. Uh, ammo's all separate, separate as you can see here. We got rockets, sniper rifle, uh, assault rifle, SMGs, etc. etc. And then the, we got the path pack here as well. This is the amount of shit you can carry, and you know, eventually that path pack will get full, which means you're gonna have to sell them, break them down for crafting materials. Yeah, okay, it's pretty much Borderlands. Skill system might be the same. Uh, yeah, we got passive, we got secondary class, and ability, of course. Yeah, pretty much this is mid Frank. I have no idea what the hell is a mid Frank. That's new. But yeah, pretty much it's the same as uh, Borderlands from the looks of it. Uh, the game does run a little bit ass right now, but maybe because I'm in open world right now. Uh, I do have the game crank up to the max, but even then, Borderlands shouldn't be too demanding. I do have FSR on, so the game, like I said, should be running. Whoa, hello, I got some money. Okay, so the same. It's pretty much this Borderlands. Uh, containers, you open them up, you get money. Make sure you get all of them because you're going to need that money. So, I, as you can see there, uh, my health is not at max. So that's going to be a little bit concerning. Don't got no guns. Can't open those. So I'm gonna assume this is the right way we're supposed to go. Yeah, this is the right way. Hey! Hey, they added first person legs finally! I don't think Borderlands 2 and 1 had it, maybe 3 had it. Uh but here we go. That's a that's a 10 out of 10 right there, seeing your own legs. That should be a man that should be mandatory in every first person shooting game. If you don't have first person leg, I'm I'm sorry I'm gonna bring that rating down. Alright. So far so good. Game could be running better. I am gonna buy a new GPU hopefully soon. Once that happens, uh, hopefully uh, my games will be running a lot better. 
I sound like a, like I say, I sound like a high pitched Delarian. <laughs> and, uh, you recognize one of the queen's yeah, waystones. Definitely to pick up a new GPU ASAP, especially when it's cheap. Stallion. Okay, She's guiding us so Queen's, quest. so Butt Stallion sure can, but <laughs> pretty much, the we, we can, she's guiding us to go here, and also get some loot as well. Yeah, I think things are a bit, can get a, a bit expensive. Just jump over it. <laughs> it's a species called Jumpus Tutorialis, and weirdly, it only grows in this one valley. <laughs> What kind of jump is that? Ah! Hey! Well, to be like a comic book, a uh, comic book, a uh, cartoon style game, this game looks pretty good. Not gonna lie. Uh, they definitely amp up on the visual spit uh, on the visuals. You know, like I said, it's not you no know, hyper realistic, but it still looks good. The lighting looks pretty good. Uh, all those reflections on the water here, that looks pretty good. Some hot lumberjane has left Hey! Oh, it's mine now. Feels like it was meant for me. Love a good axe. Great for cleaving, hacking, even a good old fashioned chop chop. Oh, it looks like uh, melee is like his own separate the button. It's covered over in here. Huh. The hoofprints continue through the cave. Okay, Rock V. The ceiling dips low to the ground. A true v is your melee. Baker knows when to stand tall and when to crouch. Yeah, can can we slide? Feet. Yes, we can. Pod slide. Start. Okay, give me 10 out of 10. Sure. Wow, we can slide pretty. I did the best co uh, pod slide. We'll probably be Titanfall 2 and I guess Apex to a certain extent since Apex uses the same gameplay foundation of Titanfall. The, the, the cod slide in that game is. Oh my god, it's so good. So good. Fate Market. I think that's uh, Reservation. So if we die, we spawn back there. Hey. Oh wow, look at that. We can break boxes with that. That is amazing. Yeah, this game looks pretty good, not gonna lie. It looks good. Very detailed game. You know, it's artistic wise. It's good though. Okay, we got a lot of stuff here. Look at that. Item interactions. I like that. Whoa, that's a nasty looking crab. Huh. Dead. Ow. Okay. Dead. Oh, hello. You have defeated the crabs. Crab dead. They were carrying their life savings for some reason. All yours. They did have a lot of money. Okay. Picked up a thousand gold. That's a challenge. Looks like. Any secrets I should be aware of? No, we can't go over there. All right. It's been a while since I play a Borderlands game, but. From what I'm playing right now, it's pretty much Borderlands with a fantasy twist, which is, you know, I'm okay with it. You know, I'm okay with that. But yeah, this game looks pretty good. I will definitely have to play Borderlands, all the older games, and then eventually play into three. But that will take way too much time. I'll probably, like I said, I'll probably do a mini series for each of them just to, you know, show you a good taste of Borderlands. But I probably won't do a full playthrough now. It'll just take way too much time. Okay, this looks like some sort of uh, elevator. I might have a weapon. The queen has ruled the Wonderland since I was but a humble player like you, Bing Bongs. She has foreseen your arrival and left a powerful weapon for you: the weapon of a fate maker. Ah, uh, it's like a crossbow pistol. In the hands of a champion. Okay, we can aim down size, good. Glory. That should Wait, be mandatory. This is... fantasy? Guaranteed is fantasy, baby! Yeah, pretty much it. Yeah, I make the rules. So yes, we're having guns. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think even... A dark and ancient castle lurks... Lurkingly. Yeah, I did. The Dragon Lord has made his foul nest within that dark ruin. Yeah, I think the missile, uh, I think the gun designs are also very fantasy-like too. And the guns, but they have their own artistic spins uh. on it. 
<coughs> hey! Alright. Uh, let me open that. We got some ammo. Nice, nice, Sue. Hey! Okay, we can't use that zip line. I guess there is one way to go down, really, is to jump down. I do gotta probably get into some. Um, into some <coughs> Alright, here we go. What the? Oh! Who the hell is Wabula? Some skeleton techno master. Skelly master. Oh wow, okay. This is a fully automatic fucking uh, crossbow pistol. Whoa! Hey, 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 hey! Okay, yeah, probably best to aim. I don't know the aim. I don't think it's not missing line. It's kind of, it's kind of like Hunt Showdown. Like the way, like the way the aim is. Sis. Get some ammo. Okay, get that. Get them loot. Tell me where his tomb is, or I'll make you a skeleton too. I don't know. I swear it on the queen's diamond tail. Lies! You are so skeleton. Spread out, my undead hordes. We must find the master. Oh, look at that! It's a lot of secret loot. So we gotta get to a tower. Uh, we gotta get up there. So we gotta do some parkour. I keep double tapping the sprint button. I played too much Call of Duty. Got used to that quite a bit. Keep double tapping shift. I was like, wait, I'm playing a different game. All right, so we can't break that. Uh, but we, there are some stuff here to climb. Looks like. Shoot. Ooh, and we got some stuff here. There. Okay. Wow, that's it. Dur most durable chair ever. Okay, open this. Got some ammo. Full on ammo though. Let's check what's down here. More ammos. Oh, we can switch different fire mode. Two shot burst. Four shot burst. Uh, let's have it at the two burst uh, shot. That will make our shot a lot more accurate. Also, we'll be doing a little bit more damage as well. Uh, more ammo here. So, I don't think we can't carry too much ammo yet until we find you know, more items that will make us carry more ammo and equip like five different weapons. So can't really do too many of that stuff. Shoop. Thank God, unlimited sprint. Huh. All right, what, what we got here? What's the goods? Oh, we got a ward. Ooh, you found nice. A ward. That's like a magical shield above your health. Pretty sweet. So the ward is pretty much replacement of the shield system from Borderlands. Can we go in here? Nope. So yeah, having the shield is gonna be important. Okay, more stuff. No money though. Uh, I'm not sure we're gonna get any higher, but you know, we're just gonna keep. We go. All right, we gotta continue to the village. Uh oh, a rock slide bars your way to the village. We're ruined. <laughs> All is lost. Very heroic. Tina. Yeah, we can jump. Up the yeah, we can jump over it. Sorry, it's impossible. Okay, oh, this game sucks. Explosives! Oh, hello. Victory! Nice. I'd never lost hope. Ahead, you hear the okay. roar of raging fire and the dragon clackety of bones. <gasps> We're here to save the village. That dragon? Okay. So far, I'm liking this game. Uh, I definitely a. a a bit of a slow, sl uh, a slow start. Oh, we're here to avenge we gotta the kill, village. We gotta kill the skellies. No, nope, stop it. How sweet stop. They fall. Nope, stop it. Whoa, hello. Okay. Well, it looks like everybody's dead in this place. Get some ammo. See if we can find any. Got some ammo. There are a lot of stuff here we can probably explore. That looks like out of bounds. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. What kind of jump is that? <laughs> it literally went up in the air. Okay, I think I'm gonna focus on killing the skeletons with no guns. I'm just gonna hit them with the just gonna hit them with the axe. This guy's here. Yeah, this guy's here. I'm definitely gonna use that. 
the people here got absolutely messed up. Oh, hello. Come on, got a diary. Got a diary. Lower score. Hey, you got an achievement? Let's see what's up here. That's some more stuff. Just because you're tired of this anonymous village, oh, we got loot here. Lost your magic. Money. I'm gonna need that money. Shoot. Maybe the rest will come back to All right. That's, that's the only way we got to go. Hey, get out of my way. Get out of here. Slave forward melee weapons. Easy enough to say. Nope. Okay. Definitely want to get my own assault rifle. Ow. Okay, this guy here's got to die. Stop it. Stop it. Got his ass. Money. Nice. See, like I said, I'm not sure there's anything significant. Doesn't seem like it. And I don't think there's no way to get over there. We do got something right here, though. What the hell is that? Damn, then that's explosive barrels, too. Find the lucky dice. Ooh, okay. Got some stuff here. We could probably sell this stuff. If anything. Do got a new gun. I think that's explosive, yeah. You kind of figure. Oh, yeah, stay away from that. Okay. Do some uh, fast damage. Who the hell is laughing like a maniac? Oh, the skelly guys. One badass skeleton. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay. Got a badass skeleton. Alright, gonna hit him with the force. Whoa! Hit him with the force shot. Whoa! He got the extra layer of health. Dead. Hey! All the loot. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fucking explode. Yep, that's definitely classic Borderlands, uh, Borderlands right there. Uh, the game is definitely known for its looter shooter mechanics. Uh, and congratulations, you leveled up. Now you can choose your first action skill. Slot this first skill, press tab, and go to the skill menu. All right. All right, and then here we go. We can get out to use a point. So I don't even have this equipped yet. D Dreadwind. So the fate maker spins dealing million damage per hour to nearby enemies. So it looks like we do like a spin attack movement. Let's get that one. And we we might have one more point. Hmm. Buzz damage increase. Increase. And then, of course, we can use our points to increase our stats wise as well. Uh, more health will probably be good as well. Yeah, let's get some more health. And let's confirm that. And we're looking good. And we do got some new weapons, though. So we're going to find out which one is good. Okay, looks like we got to get this person back up in her feet. Peasant has peasant. Wow. That's a, that's a weird way to call these people. <laughs> let's get them up. You're good. Ooh, this one has a wet dot side. <laughs> a hero's work is its own reward. I am on a quest to defeat the Dragon Lord. You're a fate maker. I knew the queen would send us a hero. The so I assume the queen is t Tiny Tina. That's my that's my assumption. The tomb is inside a crypt. The perfect hiding This one has a red dot side. I do like the look of this. May the queen's favor see your noble quest through. No, you got purple eyes. That makes you quite unique there, lady. My peasant ass is killing me. <laughs> My peasant ass is killing me. <laughs> hey! Item interactions. Health. Okay. So, it looks like we got the same weapon. Only that the difference is, well... Uh, it's a little bit better, so... So this one is a little, a little bit better on accuracy. Handling is a little bit poopy. Fire weight is a bit better. Magazine size also smaller too. And this one way better than the one I got for sure. Do you got some new melee weapons though? This one does less damage, but it is a lot faster though. Uh, I do like speed, so I guess we can go. Wow, what is going on with my character? Why is he look so? You know what? I'm not gonna question it. Oh man, this one has even a bunch of better looking scope. It's like a little eel tech on it. I do like that. And this one's a red dot. Uh, that guy is absolutely dead. Uh, okay, we're gonna do a clean sweep of this place and uh, we will continue on the quest. Okay, we just did a clean sweep. I think we're pretty much ready to go. 
Let's uh, open this, and we're heading to the castle ruins. The ruins of Castle Harrowfast are just out yonder. Got a lot of explosive barrels here. I sense the Dragon Lord's presence. Oh yeah. Somewhere beneath these ruins. Okay, let's go. Find him, fellow skeletons. Okay, yeah, definitely packs a lot more firepower. Okay, they are being a bunch of ass. Dude, I do really like this EOTech looking optics. Okay. Yeah, that's some pretty big radius there. Okay. And then hit that one there. Those guys are fucked. Okay. So far, the gunplay feels really smooth. Huh. Huh. Off you go, sucker. Oh, hello. More stuff to loot. Always good to keep an eye out. Okay, okay, look, look, look. Look. Yeah, I think the headshot definitely matters as well. Okay, this is just ammo. Big area to explore here. So, let's loot some stuff real quick. As we make some progress. Can we climb in here? Wow, we can. Nice. Parkour. Let's see. We can't jump over that. That skeleton is coming over here. Okay, we can mantle. Okay. It's a little bit far. Okay, got his ass. <laughs> okay, nice. Hey, you know what? I, just, I do, do quite enjoy it. Ooh. I do quite enjoy this game. Can't break that. Uh, this game would definitely be a good game to play with friends. Absolutely. Uh, that's the whole point. Uh, that was also one of the main things I like about Borderlands. It's definitely very fun to play with friends. Whoa, almost jumped to my death over there. Uh, right now, we're all in the beginning, so hopefully, maybe, maybe I can get some of my friends to get this game when it goes on sale and we have some fun playing. And that friend, this is gonna be, whew, it's gonna be good. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, we're gonna get a, little, get a little bit closer. Like that. Excellent. Like that. Excellent. Okay, this one here is a sniper. Alright. Uh, Excellent. Okay, we got some big boys here. Okay, I'm not sure how you use the special abilities. Not sure how to use the special abilities. I think it might be F, probably. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. Excellent. All right. Yeah, I, I'm a little bit curious how this game's going to be as we keep making progress. That is the bridge that we couldn't cross initially. No, that's a different way. Well, it looks like that's the castle ruins we're going, everybody. Is, is, is someone shooting me? No, that might have been a sound cue for getting gold. All right, uh, let's. Ooh, hello. What is that? Yeah, I think those crates are just specifically just ammo. But you never know, though. There could be some other stuff in there. So it's good to double check. 